Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Emily Rose. I'm a professional Lenormand and tarot reader. And today we are here with our seasonal forecast for January through the rest of the winter. Now, if you're a regular on this channel, this is a little bit different because we typically do monthly forecasts, but I have noticed that energy tends to um, carry over. So I thought it would be more fitting to do seasonal forecasts. Also, this is a little bit different because we did this forecast live. It was broadcast to our Magical Venturing Facebook group, which you are welcome to join. It's totally free to join. I'll link it down below. And so you may hear us answering some questions or seeing some comments in there as well. So this is a little bit different. And I host that group along with my mother, Aileen, who is a tarot reader, teacher, and author as well. So that is what is a little bit different about our reading today, but we have the same kind of flavor for you of selecting your pile that resonate. Also, I wanted to let you know about a free live experience that is happening via Zoom and also in the Facebook group. So you don't have to be a part of Facebook to participate in this because it will be on Zoom as well. And what I'm talking about is the Claim Your Confidence experience. This is an experience that helps mystics to own their gifts. And the reason why I wanted to talk about confidence is because I hear all the time from new readers, experienced readers, uh, anyone who's kind of a part of our mystical, magical world, they're talking about all these things they want to do, but they also tell me that they don't feel like they have the confidence or they don't feel like they have the time or they don't feel like they have the resources to put out the things that they want to put out into the world. So um, since I sent out that survey back in June, July, I have been deep diving into confidence and what makes somebody confident, talking to other readers about this as well. And I've created the Claim Your Confidence experience. We are going to get started on January 2nd, and uh, which is a Sunday, and we're going to be talking about the five things I wish I knew before going pro. That is going to be how we kick this event off. If you're watching this and it's past January 2nd, you may still be able to opt in at the link below to catch the replays. You need to be opted in to get the replays, so make sure you click the link below and enter your email address so I can send you the replays. Okay, I can't wait to see you inside of that experience. One of the things I always like to say is that this reading is meant to be combined with your own intuition and judgment. So it is best paired with that. And um, when it comes to looking at how this is going to affect your life, just know that you are ultimately in control of what you decide to do with your life, not a reading on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're watching us. This is meant to be empowering. And if there's something that appears in the reading that you're not resonating with, there's almost always a way to change it. And that's because I asked the cards only for information that is helpful, actionable, and in your best and highest good. So I just like to have that little little disclaimer before we get started. And are you ready to dive into cards, mom? Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, cool. So I'm going to show, uh, uh, show you guys our piles here. Okay. So here are our three piles that we have going on today. So what I would like you to do is to take a deep breath with me. and select the pile that is calling most to you. And what I mean by calling most to you is just a card or just a pile that keeps kind of coming into your mind and your eye keeps returning to it or you keep thinking about it. So I'll, I'll let you know what's on these three piles here. The first one we have here is this um, gold circle that, um, is actually my aunt recently passed away and this was hers. It's a piece of her jewelry. So I'm calling this the, the gold circle. Um, 
the vision that came with it, the nickname for this is the sidestepper pile. <laughs> so gold circle sidestepper pile one here. The second one we have here is a, this is kind of a, a, a dark crystal um, that I was gifted a very long time ago. I was probably 12 or 13 when this was gifted to me. Um, and the vision that goes along with this, I'm calling this the heavy object <laughs> pile. So that's pile two. And then pile three here, this is a um, sprig from my tree that's right next to my desk here. And I'm calling this the sprout pile. Okay, so those are your three piles. And okay, so we will go ahead and get into our interpretations. Okay, so for our first pile here for the gold circle, I saw um, we had a few folks that selected it, but here's our gold circle pile. This first card here is the area of your life that is coming into focus in this new year. And we have the key. So the way I read this is you could see the key as success or access. I kind of saw this immediately as the answer. And I'll tell you why, because it goes along with the vision that I had for our gold circle folks. So before I pulled any cards, I tapped into this vision where I saw, um, I saw you walking on this path and it looked like a very kind of expected path, a well-trodden path. And then there was this warmth that unexpectedly came from the side, like this whole almost portal opened up and there was this beautiful warm glow and you decided to step off that kind of well-trodden path and you went towards this warm glow that was heading off to the side. So you went in a totally different direction. And that's what I saw for the, um, for the circle folks here. And so when I saw the key, I immediately thought, oh, this is the answer. There's something that's going to come to you that you're, it's, it's almost just like, of course. And that's what I saw for the vision and for the area of your life. So let's see what um, is going to happen concerning this area. So for Lenormand here, oh, I got these backwards. I have the woman and this is charged to be you. So even if you are a man watching this, this is just representative of the querent, the mice, the stork, and the ship. Okay, so immediately what I got with this is that there's this kind of stressor that's happening. Something's nibbling away at you. And this could be in a variety of places in your life, such as at work. Maybe there's a situation happening there. There's some type of responsibility or some type of thing that, that you're being required to do that you don't really want to do. And um, it's it seems like it might be a minor nuisance, but it's kind of nibbling away at you. And slowly, um, you know what we say about the mice in Lenormand, um, it's kind of a robber mouse <laughs> a little bit. And whatever is kind of to the left of it, it tends to be taking away from that. And that's you here. So there's something that's being nibbled away at. But what I love about this is that following this, you know, a little bit of a negative feeling here, we have these cards that say, hey, you don't have to stay here and let these mice get to you. You can pick up and go. <laughs> so rather than continuing to deal with things that feel like they're taking from you, it's saying the answer here is to just simply go, simply pick up and leave the situation. Now, this may not apply to everything in your life that is feels frustrating or may feel a little stressful, but it does apply to things, um, to some area of your life. So this could be 
Um, for example, maybe you have a responsibility on your list. Um, I have a friend who told me she's part of this um, like school board and she really hates being a part of it. And she feels like it's, it's taking away from her all the time. Well, she doesn't have to be on that school board. <laughs> she doesn't want to, right? There's all kinds of things um, in our life that we think we have to deal with, but when we really evaluate it, we don't. Um, so kind of a journal prompt, I would say just with this before we even get into tarot for this is to really pay attention to the parts of your life that when you leave that situation, you feel a little bit more stressed or depleted. And then think, do I actually have to do this? Is this a requirement of me? Or is this something that I just simply don't have to do anymore? And I know that might seem a little radical for some situations, but that's kind of what's being called to us over the next month and also into the winter. It's really meant to be seasonal. So that's just something to think about um, as we move forward. And of course, we wouldn't leave you without some tarot helper cards. And so I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over and have my mom, um, our resident tarot expert, uh, weigh in on this. So let me go ahead and pull these up here and then we can talk about them and I will hold them up to the camera as we go as well so you can see them. Okay. So this okay. first this first card we have here is the, um, what will help ground us in this new in the new year and this is for our circle folks and we have the king of wands yeah and and so i kind of also think of this stepping off the path and in, in a new direction it's it's very powerful and good for you to do this um stepping into something new or moving away from something that's that's bothering you or, or gnawing at you. And this King of Wands is, is something that will ground you. And it's telling you to realize, to look at that you have the power to do this. You have the courage, you have the strength, um, you have the leadership ability to step into this new way um, and step off this path in a new direction. So what will ground you is, is trusting yourself, trusting, knowing that you are strong enough and you have the courage to move in this new direction and to leave this, this aspect behind. Um, you're powerful. Um, you're, you have this ability, this very strong leadership fire growing within you. And it's, it's kind of an enlightening move is what I'm getting from that. And this will, this will ground you into yourself and calling your personal power. Perfect. So that is what will help ground our circle folks is the king of wands, knowing that, that you can do it <laughs> basically yes. is what that is. You have it in you. Okay. And then the second card we have here is what will help heal? And we have the five of wands. Yeah. And what I got from the five of wands with what will help heal. And when I think of the five of wands, I think of it as playing with fire, striking the match. Um, and what I get from this is don't let your anxieties, your um, fears, your anger, anything like that get out of control. Um, you are in control. You've got that king of wands. And what will heal you is allowing you to feel these things, but not allowing them to grow. Blow that match out. Don't strike it. Don't light something up and make it bigger than it is. Um, uh, pay attention to what you're feeling, whether that be anger, whether that be anxiety, whether that be um, just a fear of, oh, you know, do I need this? energy in my life uh, and and blow out that match don't allow it to grow feel it and and blow it out so that it, stepping into those feelings but not allowing them to take you over um, is what's going to help you heal perfect and we also have what will inspire you in this new year and we have the world but you have the whole world to inspire you. You can step into anything you want. You can let go of that and move, you know, you're stepping off this path and maybe that path leads in a new direction um, and opens something up for you. So you have the whole world to explore now and to bring into your life and just use the power that you've got 
from that King of Wands to expand yourself and, and step into something you want to step into. Perfect. And to wrap up our gold circle pile here, we have what is important for you to focus on in this new year. And we have the emperor. And again, you see within the spread, there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of expansion. So stepping out of this place that's gnawing at you and stepping in a new direction with the emperor, you have, you're, you're in charge. You're the leader. And you also have the power to build and expand yourself. So it's, it's, this is really powerful, this, this key of, of stepping out of a situation and onto a new path. Look at, look at what power you've been given by doing this. Um, I think it's really powerful. So be the king, be the emperor, and just don't allow things to, to take control of you with that five of wands. Um, and notice that you have the whole world in front of you and you can create what you want now. Um, it's really stepping out of that is really the key and brings expansion into your life. Perfect. So that was our gold circle pile. And just to kind of, you know, if you came in late and you were like gold circle, that is me. Um, just to sum it up really quickly, the answer <laughs> kind of moving forward is to just release things that are not serving you situations. You can just walk away. You don't have to deal with it. Um, and it's also about stepping in and trusting yourself that whatever you know may happen after you leave the situation, you can handle it. And you can step into whatever new world you want to create. That's kind of, I think, the, a quick summary. Yes, <laughs> the gold <yes>. circle. <laughs> Okay, so that's a gold circle. If you if you are watching this live, feel free to comment and let us know if um, how that resonates for you or what your thoughts are about this pile. We'd love to know. Now let's move on here. And we have kind of our, our black crystal, if you will. And I call this the heavy object reading because I, I it was hard to articulate this vision fully, but let me, let me try here. So what I saw was I saw like this heavy thing, like kind of almost like an anchor or an anvil drop onto, um, the forest floor. Um, that's kind of what my spiritual space looks like. It's a, it's a forest. And what happened is this object really radiated to the core. It didn't damage the forest floor. Exactly. Um, it just kind of radiated down and, what happened then was that the floor started to kind of shift and move gently to accommodate the object. And then um, things started to grow on it. Um, like it almost is being incorporated into the landscape. So you're kind of getting an, a new landscape from this thing that was kind of plopped on you. Um, so let's look at the area of your life that this is concerning. And I got the coffin here. So this, this makes a lot of sense. I, and I promise I did these visions before I pulled any cards. So with the coffin, um, what I get here is that there is something that happened, something that could have been painful. Um, there could be some type of a transition. There may be some grief happening on some level, something that had happened. And that's kind of the area that we're, that we're looking at. Now let's look at um, the cards that are concerning this here. And we have the moon, the spirit card, which is specific to the Rana George Lenormand, which is what we're using here, the clover, and we also have the sun. Okay, so immediately my, my thought here with this is that you may be experiencing emotions that feel almost like they're not yours. Um, they may feel like they are um, kind of out of this world, like something different. And you may not know where they're coming from. But what I'm also getting here is, I mean, look at these positive cards that are following this, um, this very heavy card. I'm getting that these emotions are actually kind of um, an opportunity 
in a way um, for creativity. I feel like you're gonna get these like downloaded messages um, and with these heavy emotions, um, it, you're almost kind of transcending consciousness in a way. And there is a, a benefit to that because you're going to get these very creative downloads. Um, so what you're feeling may actually be creative fuel for something that you're going to create. And I feel like something that you're going to create out in the open that is likely to help people later on down the line. So um, there's a lot of emotions happening here, a lot of creativity, and it may be difficult to see this as an opportunity with these kind of emotions you're feeling, um, but just know that they can be channeled, um, these emotions you're feeling, and they can be translated into something that you create. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look at our tarot cards. So the first one we have here is the King of Cups, which is what will ground you? And what I got from the King of Cups, um, you, you know, you talked about emotions um, coming from somewhere else. And remember that the King of Cups, he is the master of his emotions. He, he feels them and he knows how to work with them. So using this energy of these emotions coming in and, and really paying attention to them and, and exploring them, but not allowing them to, to take you over um, because he is in control of his emotions. And this is also the King of Cups is very heartfelt energy. So really let your heart feel these these. I almost feel like they're spiritual emotions coming in. Um, let your heart feel them. Let your heart, um, I want to say, read them, um, take them in and uh, allow them to flow um, because this is water element coming in here as your grounding element. So allowing things to flow, allowing yourself to feel things and allowing yourself to explore these emotions without allowing them to take you over um, will really ground you. Yes. And the first thing I thought of when I saw the King of Cups is I, I use the Voyager tarot quite a bit for my client readings and the King of Cups there is the surfer. So I thought of, you know, riding the waves <laughs> that, that come through of emotion and not getting lost in a, a tsunami of them, but just yeah. kind of, kind of staying on top of them and noticing what you're feeling. So I love that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this next one is what will help heal you? And we have the seven of coins here. So seven of pentacles. Yeah, and I feel like with this, this pull of these, um, it's almost like channelings coming into you, emotional channelings coming in. Um, I feel like they're planting seeds within you. Um, and that these seeds are going to grow and become, become a reality. So it's, it's like, I, like Emily said, I really like that. It's, it's like you're getting a download of inf new information and new feelings that will become your reality in the future. And these seeds are being planted within you right now. So this is a very spiritual growth for you. And this is very healing. It'll heal you spiritually. It'll heal you, um, your emotional self. And it's going to allow new growth to come out of you. Perfect. So that is what will heal you for our crystal folks. And then um, what we have is what will inspire. And we have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is all about truth and clarity. So what's going to inspire you is being truthful with yourself um and being truthful with others really speaking your truth it's time to do that now um and also you know journaling writing um singing um anything that lets your voice come out is going to inspire you so truth being clear um writing journaling uh singing and and also maybe some meditation journeying really allowing yourself to, to pay attention 
to these these feelings that are coming in and speaking being clear and and allowing them out and speaking your truth is very important for you now yes i love that okay so that is what will inspire you and now let's look at what to focus on and two cards fell out and we have the eight of swords and the nine of swords. So these two cards fell out of the deck and it's it's crazy to me <laughs> for the wrap up this reading, um, especially because we started with the coffin card as the focus. Yeah, so for me, the eight of swords is telling you um, it's time to step out of your box, um, to break free. Um, and, and the nine of swords is telling me it's time to step through your fear. So it's like, you have um, the queen of swords before that telling you to be truthful and be clear. And then you have what will what should you focus on is being willing to step us outside of this box you've created. And I also go up to that coffin in a sense, stepping out of that coffin, stepping out of the box and stepping through your fear, walking through your fears. Because once you walk through your fears, you look back and you realize that it those fears they were there for a reason, but you're ready to walk through them now and new beginnings happening after, after you step through your fears. So this is a very powerful pile of cards with new growth happening um, and new clarity coming in and speaking your truth and, and stepping outside your box and walking through your fear brings newness into your life. And that seven of pentacles says that those seeds are being planted within you that will grow and become a reality. Yes. And I think too, you know, if you pick this pile and you're feeling like you've just gone through something that was really heavy, um, just know that these things are coming out of it. You know, that you do have something growing, new growth that's going to come out of it. And it couldn't have happened if it wasn't for this thing, because like in the vision, it's growing around that object, right? That was, that was landed there. So that's something that's important to know. It doesn't make things any easier to deal with in the time, but it, it can be a, a bit of hope um, if there's, if you're dealing with something heavy and you selected this, this pile. Okay. So that is our crystal pile or heavy object pile. We have our sprout pile. Okay. So with this pile immediately what I saw was a stalk, like a, almost kind of like Jack and the Beanstalk, I guess, like a little stalk, but it was, it was small and it was, it was a little bit frail, but it was growing quickly. And I saw it growing up into the clouds and past them. And you were at the top and you could look over and see kind of the whole landscape. And what I got from this is that this isn't this super sturdy structure you could hang out in all the time, but it was something that you might kind of get taken with, something that you, you'll be excited about. Um, and it's designed so you can get a new perspective with it, but you're not really meant to hang out there for a long period of time. Um, but something new and exciting is growing. That's what I got from our sprout pile for the vision. Okay, now let's look at our cards. And we have the child. Um, so this to me um, was very resonant with the vision. And I saw this as newness, something new that's coming into your life. Now let's go ahead and look at our cards here. And we have the book, the bouquet, and the heart. So I saw that this is um, definitely like learning something that's kind of light, um, something that you, that feels pleasant and that you enjoy. And it may even feel a bit frivolous. Like I kind of feel like this could be like a hobby or something like that. Um, literally like a flower arranging hobby wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it's winter, so that'd be hard, but something like that, that you're like, you know, does this have any meaning? Um, this kind of feels a bit frivolous. And from the vision, it's not frivolous. Um, it is really important because you're gaining a new perspective, a new and higher perspective. And even if, you know, you may not do this hobby forever, or it may not be such a main part of your life forever, it's important. 
that you do it because it's going to show you something that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Um, so that's kind of what I see coming up for our Sprout folks. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our tarot cards. And let's see what we got for you guys. So the first one we have is what will help ground. And we got the page of swords. <laughs> it's not a very grounding card. <laughs> no, but it, it's telling you to step into this, to go ahead, uh, move forward, to explore. This page of swords, he rushes in, he explores. Um, well, I'm thinking of the night, but the page of swords is, is ready to explore, is ready to learn. It's knowledge. Um, so go ahead, step in. This is, this is going to bring new knowledge to you that, like Emily said, is going to be important in the future. Um, you will use this in some form. And so this page of swords is saying, yes, step in, um, be ready to explore and, and learn and, and gain this knowledge that's going to be important to you. Yes, so that is what will ground. And I also kind of see it as like, almost like it's fun. <laughs> like yeah. I kind of said it's fun. Like it's fun. Do it. Go for it. Don't think too much about it. Um, okay. And then what will help heal? And we have the three of pentacles or three of coins in this deck. So the three of coins or pentacles is about collaboration. Um, I feel like this is, you know, if, if you're feeling any type of you know, why am I doing this? Or, you know, it, it, it's going to bring collaboration into your life. Um, reach out to people, uh, welcome people in to collaborate with you. There's growth happening from this. Um, three within the tarot and the earth element also means growth and abundance. So this experience is going to bring growth and abundance and bring other people into your life for you to work with. So it, it is powerful. It's like it's, it's you know, you saw the, the sprout or stalk growing up. It's, it's going to grow. It's going to bring in other people and it'll bring in community for you to work with. So it is a very powerful growing um, sprout. And then we have what will inspire and we have the ace of wands. And what can you say about that? The ace of wands is inspiration in itself. It is the spark within. This is going to light the spark within you. And it's going to bring new opportunities, new ideas, new creativity. There's going to be a ton of growth from this. You can see it with that three of coins and this ace of wands. It's going to bring that creative spark into your life, whether it be actually doing this, whatever it is that you decide to do this this hobby or whatever, um, or not, it's going to bring inspiration that that spark within and it's going to inspire you totally. And new beginnings happen from that. So there is new growth, that new seed is popping up and reaching for the sunlight. So total, total new creativity is born because you are willing to explore this energy, this, this new beginning. And I just love the duality or the imagery on these two. So we have like the page of swords at the top here and he has this singular sword. And then we also have the ace of wands here, which is aligned with it too. Um, you have the singular wand and it just reminded me of the sprout because that's what it looked like. It was so tall and it was reaching up to the heavens. And that's what these two kind of look like. So I just thought that that was um, that was something I noticed as I was uh, pulling these cards too. It's just you know how those look. Um, well, and then you well. have then you have that three of pinnacles next to it, which is mm -hmm. it, it's growing, um, yep. growth energy and and collaboration and community, um, making things a reality. Yes, and of course our last card here for our sprout folks is what to focus on. And we have the seven of wands. And I think um, of the seven of wands is, is that this is going to bring something up inside of you that you do want to do. Um, and you don't give up. 
um, as challenges come towards you, your focus is to create anyway, to do this anyway, even if it, the challenge is yourself saying, why am I doing this? Um, your focus is to stay focused on what you're doing and to create anyway and not allow obstacles to get in your way um, and to keep moving. You have the higher ground on this. Do it. Don't be afraid to do it. And it's going to really help you to move forward. So stand your ground. Don't give up. And I also think, you know, with this in the Voyager Tarot, this is the I believe that this is the breakthrough card. And that made a lot of sense with and, you know, to kind of sum up this whole pile as to like, why are we going on this journey of like a Jack and the Beanstalk <laughs> kind of journey of going up this sprout? What's going on with that? But it is to gain this higher perspective. And I think this is kind of the higher perspective or the lesson almost of, of that is, you know, we, this thing that you might be doing, it might feel frivolous or, you know, to other people, but if there's something meaningful in it, and by you continuing to do it, you, you're having this breakthrough moment. You know, this is a seven card. So I think of chariot energy with it too. Um, and so I, I feel like there's, that's kind of the breakthrough moment is you sticking with it with something that, you know, you enjoy or something that um, feels, you know, that, that you just want to keep doing and doing it anyway, you know, no matter what other people think or say. So I think there's kind of a bigger lesson that will be illuminated. And I think this card will, will sum it up for you. Right. And, and like you said, with that seven and chariot energy, um, the chariot tells you the key word I use for the chariot is to stay focused mm -hmm. and, and keep going in your direction. And this is what will, what to focus on. And so your focus is to stay focused and this will bring a breakthrough, keep going. Perfect. Please feel free to comment and let me know below what you thought of this reading. Let me know how it resonated for you. And also please feel free to join me inside of the Claim Your Confidence experience. And that is kicking off on January 2nd. You can opt in at the link below. And with this experience, you do need to be opted in to get all of the replays. And even if you are watching this past January 2nd, you can still participate and get the replays within a limited time, probably throughout the month of January. Okay, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.